You know the saying, nothing is certain but death and taxes. For any country, including ours, the structure of a tax system is vital in determining how competitive and prosperous our economy and individuals will be. Well, there's a growing call to overhaul our tax system, with many saying that the current system is riddled with problems and destroying wealth across the board. Trevor Perry is one of those advocates calling for change. He's a tax strategist at TRP Strategy Group, and he joins me now. Trevor, great to have you in person. I normally do this over Zoom, so it's nice to have Thanks guests for in the here. studio. Um, I've been wanting to cover this topic for a very long time because I have conversations, Trevor, with so many people, and I, it's hard-pressed to find anyone who thinks that they are better off today than they were five or six or seven years ago. And I think people forget that taxes is one of the top expenses. Mm -hmm. It's not gasoline. It's not food. Um, for some, it's not even housing. It's, it's taxes. Taxation and if it's, is, and if it's not yeah. structured right, it kills prosperity. Ex you think it's outdated, don't you? I, exactly. I mean, we have an antiquated tax system that was brought in actually through a wonderful consultative process in the 1960s, but it's badly outdated. And we have relied on these so-called progressive ideas of income tax where you, uh, it's, it, it's become quite punitive. The, the concept of a progressive tax, the more you make, the more you pay. And we can certainly keep some of that. Uh, but the problem is that taxation has become very much a, a political uh, vehicle where we pick winners and losers. Uh, we take steps that aren't necessarily in the, uh, in the interest of the entire country. And I would argue that our tax system in no way, shape, or form promotes business growth uh, or entrepreneurialism in Canada. In fact, uh, the previous finance minister uh, attempted to, in, in short order, rewrite the Income Tax Act and mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, effectively put small and medium-sized businesses out of business. Yeah, and we know that business growth is, leads to prosperity. We're going to pull up, um, Trevor, we're going to pull up the federal tax rates. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see there on the board, overall, what do you think of it? And what, what would you change? Um, I would lower taxes dramatically uh, mm -hmm. because it promotes growth. We, I'm an advocate of the carrot rather than the stick. And so there are certain things that you can do with lower taxations, taxation, both per personal and corporate, which will promote economic growth. Our tax rates, particularly when you compare them to our principal trading partner, which is the United States, are ridiculously punitive. Um, the Americans have slightly increased their taxes under the current administration, but in no way, shape, or form do they approach Canadian taxation. So if you travel down to Florida, where your top rate is 37 or 38 percent, you don't hit that until almost a half a million dollars. And you can do joint filing for couples and all kind of, that kind of stuff. Whereas here, I think the top bracket kicks in at about $235,000. Um, the government is using this as a political platform and a, and a political football. And I find that terrifying because I'm old enough to remember the first Trudeau, and even he didn't promulgate uh, policy on the basis of class envy. A junior certainly is all about that. Uh, what $235,000, yes, it's a considerable amount of money, but it's solidly middle class income. You're not mm -hmm. rich at $235,000. Uh, you're able to take a vacation, um, but you're losing, you know, f every dollar north of that, 53.5% in the province of Ontario. There are only two provinces in all of Canada where the effective combined tax rate, uh, provincial and federal, is under 50%. So it's, it's a daunting um, bulwark against getting ahead, both individually and, and as a business. You know, uh, we only have a minute to the commercial break, Trevor, but you've, you've mentioned Trudeau, um, and, but has, was the tax system, do you think, better before him? I, I would say so, absolutely. And certainly the governments before, uh, and in fact, under liberal governments, uh, under Jean Chrétien and Paul Martin, mm -hmm. we had a far more pro-growth sensible tax system. Right now, it's just punitive. Uh, pick, your, pick your friends and winners. Uh, that, that's what they're all about, I think. Do you, um, w I should ask, when is the last time we actually changed the tax brackets? Uh, well, when Trudeau came in, he introduced the this new bracket. So 2015, okay. they brought in this, this bracket, and now they're floating. There's rumors that they are floating a new bracket at $400,000, which could be upwards of 60% combined provincial federal. Wow. 
So that, that's quite punitive when you're uh, when you're giving more to the government than you're keeping for yourself.